Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company in Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of officials from Noga Holding and its subsidiaries. His Majesty was briefed on the results of the evaluation of unconventional gas resources in Al Joba and Al Jawf layers located under Al Khaf and Anaza natural gas producing reservoirs. His Majesty praised the efforts to increase the Kingdom's oil and natural gas resources and stressed its positive impact in supporting the national economy and sustainable development goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his gratitude to His Majesty the King for receiving the Noga Holding Advisory and Evaluation Teams. He also expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his continuous support to advance the oil and gas sector in Bahrain and line with the vision of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Khair Palace the outgoing GCC Secretary General Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf to greet His Majesty on the occasion of the end of his tenure as Secretary General of the Council. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Al Hajraf for his efforts during his tenure, hailing his endeavors and ability to develop the work of the General Secretariat and to enhance the process of joint Gulf efforts to achieve the aspirations of the GCC states and its people for greater stability, integration and prosperity and to continue its role in consolidating regional and global peace, security and stability. His Majesty commended the achievements of the GCC since its establishment in all fields and wished Dr. Al Hajraf success. Dr. Al Hajraf expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support to the GCC joint action to achieve goals, praising Bahrain's active role and efforts to promote cooperation and its contributions that support the development of the Gulf cooperation fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace Ambassador Fozia Zainal on the occasion of her appointment as the head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to Egypt with the title of Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary where Zainal took the legal oath before His Majesty the King. His Majesty congratulated the Ambassador praising her efficiency in assuming this national responsibility. He wished her success in performing her new diplomatic mission missions and entrusted her to convey his greetings to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and his wishes of continued progress and prosperity to Egypt and its people. His Majesty directed the Ambassador to strengthen bilateral relations and to take care of Bahraini's affairs in Egypt and to work to meet their needs abroad. Zainal expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and expressed pride in His Majesty's trust, affirming that His Majesty's directors will support her to develop Bahraini-Egyptian relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited and inspected a number of areas to review the development of rainwater drainage networks and other solutions for rainfall accumulation across Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed that the development of various sectors continues to be Team Bahrain's top priority in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the infrastructural development of rainfall drainage networks witnessed across the Kingdom's governorates and expressed his thanks and appreciation for the tangible results achieved. His Royal Highness directed to further strengthen the infrastructure to ensure the quality of sustainability of solutions in accordance with the aspirations of Bahrain's citizens. Upon a visit to al area, His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the rain emergency team and all the relevant authorities for their tireless efforts during the rainy season in the service of Bahraini citizens. He outlined that further improving the efficiency of government services for Bahraini citizens is an ongoing process, adding that the Kingdom strives for excellence and development. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of completing various infrastructure projects across the Kingdom's governorates and developing sustainable solutions for rainwater drainage in line with best practices. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain's success in transforming challenges into opportunities has been the basis of the Kingdom's progress and development and remains a strong motivation 
innovation that drives the kingdom's development goals. His Royal Highness was accompanied by a number of senior officials. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, presided over the council's weekly session. The council approved Decree by Law 35 of 2022, amending Article 3 of Decree by Law 27 of 2022 regarding the establishment of the Constitutional Court. The council also approved Decree by Law 39 of 2022, amending the provisions of Law 72 of 2006 regarding Bahrain's coat of arms. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali Rumehi, in the presence of the member of the Shura Council and member of the Board of Trustees of the Institute, Dr. Bassam al-Bin Muhammad, and the Executive Director of the Institute, Iman Janahi, where they presented to the chairman a copy of the Institute's annual report for 2022. The chairman affirmed that the programs and initiatives offered by BIPD highlight the pivotal roles and efforts that contribute to enhancing awareness of democratic concepts and their positive practices. The chairman praised the information and statistics in the Institute's annual report that reflect the Institute's sincere endeavors during the previous year and the extensive programs provided that coincided with the parliamentary and municipal elections that took place in Bahrain. He stated that the Institute's achievements and successes employ the plans and strategies set by the Board of Trustees of the Institute, stressing that the Institute is one of the important institutions that consolidate and enhance the values of loyalty and national belonging. Ramehi affirmed his keenness to continue working to support and strengthen the democratic process in Bahrain, which is one of the most important achievements of the comprehensive development project of His Majesty the King within the national constants based on promoting the values of loyalty, belonging and the rule of law. Ramehi expressed thanks to the chairman of the Shura Council for his follow-up on the Institute's activities and events. He added that the Institute's national mission will continue through initiatives promoting sound directives, action preparing qualified youth cadres to contribute to the advancement of political work. The National Space Science Agency participated remotely in the workshop on the usage of acoustic technologies in communicating space data to support space-related scientific research, which was held in Vienna. The agency's CEO, Dr. Mohammed Al Asiri, said that voice communication, in which the nonverbal voice is used to interpret, analyze, and communicate data, is a powerful tool for equitable access to space science and making it available to all researchers. Dr. Al Asiri added that 
that the ideas and information gathered during the discussions in the workshop will be useful in preparing the special report on sonication. He noted that it will also enhance its contribution to a qualitative increase in the preparation of space scientific research, which will reflect positively on the sector and enhance innovation levels. Lithuanian Vaidota Zala and Frenchman Gurlan Shisharit secured two top three finishes for Bahrain Raid Extreme in the Dakar Rally as Saudi Arabia's Yazid Rajhi won the seventh stage from Riyadh to Edouadmi. Sebastian Loeb's ninth place on the stage alongside Fabian Lurkin and their BRX Pro Drive Hunter saw the Frenchman continue his climb back up the overall standings to fifth following his earlier misfortunes, having each underlined the power of the Pro Drive Hunters over the last few days despite a spate of punctures and other setbacks, Loeb, Shisharit and Zala will be looking to deliver more stage victories to Bahrain Raid Extreme before the finish in Dammam on the 15th of January.